Hello and welcome to the Gothic Color channel. In this video I used two color options of my Pink Roses design to revamp old stationery folders using two quarter pieces of printed velvet and some decorative ribbons. This is a fun little project for which you can use any design and fabric that you like. Information on my design and where it can be purchased can be found in the description box of this video. In the description box I also have links to the different sections of the video so you can easily skip ahead to the section you are most interested in. First let me show you the materials that I used for making this project. I had the burgundy and orange versions of my pink roses design printed on two quarter pieces of velvet fabric. Here you can see the design, though I'd like to point out that the size of the design you see here is bigger than what is available in my shops. I noticed that at this size some of the design was coming out a bit blurry, as you may be able to see here, so I made the pattern smaller to improve on the quality of the print. As the quarters were not wide enough for the particular folders I wanted to cover, I also used some decorative ribbons to add to the width of the fabric, but more on that later. To deal with the fabric I also had at hand measuring tools, cutting tools as well as marking tools. The base of the project were these two old archive folders I've had a very long time, somewhat tattered but still holding, one of which is taller than the other. I made sure that any bits of old paper and labels that were sticking out or were a bit loose were removed. To prep the folders I used some sandpaper. Here you can see an emery board but I ended up using something different in the end. The adhesive I used was matte Mod Podge for paper. Using the matte version is useful as it doesn't show up against textual fabric, unlike the gloss finish which can stand out and give a plasticky appearance to the fabric. For the adhesive I used a couple of flat brushes and pots for water and mixing. The first thing I did was to check how the fabric and design sat on the folders. The quarter pieces I used were just the width of the spread folders, but that gave me no excess fabric to wrap around the edge for a neat finish. So I decided to deal with these edges in two ways. For the taller folder I decided to add two pieces of black velvet ribbon, leftovers from a previous project, to cover both edges. I decided to use the burgundy fabric for this option. For the shorter folder, for which I ended up using the orange fabric, I decided to cut some off the excess of the height of the fabric and to add it over the front edge. To make this into a feature, I also decided to use a piece of decorative lacy ribbon over the joint, again another leftover from an old project. Of course, the pattern on the fabric won't match up, but as most of it will be folded over and covered by the ribbon, it will not be obvious. I prepped the folders by wrapping the surface a bit with a medium grade sandpaper. This was just to roughen up the surface so that the adhesive could grip better onto it, there is no need to overdo it. Once I finished, I wiped the folders clean from any particles. Then I thinned some of the adhesive with water, to about the consistency of milk, and thinly spread this on the surface of the folders to prime. This is partly absorbed by the cardboard and helps with adhesion. I then primed the fabric and ribbons. This time I thinned the adhesive less, roughly to the consistency of double cream, to avoid it leaking too much through to the front of the fabric, which would stiffen the velvet pile. Priming the fabrics this way helps the adhesive stay on the surface of the back of the fabric, so that it properly sticks to the folder, rather than most of it getting absorbed into the fabric before it had a chance to dry. Again, I applied a thin layer. It is better to do very thin layers, and if need be do a couple of them, than applying one thick one. I gave the fabrics and the folders a day to dry out completely. Starting with the orange fabric, I measured and marked the positioning of the front sections. Then, using the adhesive from the bottle, without thinning it this time, I spread it evenly with a brush over the folder in sections, pressing the fabric down as I went along. The fabric didn't want to stay into position, especially where it was folded over the edges, so I used various clips I had at hand to keep it into position until the adhesive dried. Once the adhesive dried, I also stuck the lacy ribbon at the front. This I also secured with clips, but taking particular care that the clips didn't get stuck onto the surface by any excess adhesive seeping through the ribbon. I used pretty much the same method to stick the burgundy fabric on the taller folder as seen here. Thank you. 
When sticking the fabric onto the folder, make sure you run your fingernail into the folding section so that the fabric can look neat when the folder opens and closes. Once the adhesive had dried and the fabric was properly stuck, I also stuck the black velvet ribbons on the front and back edges of the folder, again using clips to keep them in place while the adhesive dried. I then cut out eyelets into the fabric so that the metal loops of the folders could pop out properly. I used a small rotary cutter for the first few cuts to open up the fabric and then fine-tune the shape using small scissors. You could do this before sticking the fabric onto the folder, but I was being lazy. Finally, I finished off the burgundy folder by cutting the excess off the black ribbon and sticking the edges in to create neat corners. As before, I used the clips to keep the corners in place while the adhesive dried. So here are the finished folders. You can make the folders even more tactile by adding a layer of fabric on the inside too. However, I used these ones here to store old paperwork from my old master's degree and currently they are more decorative than anything else, so I left the inside as is. I have a couple of ideas for my next few videos. I'm thinking of making a pair of simple trousers or slacks and also I'm thinking of a casual fabric bag. If you're interested in seeing more videos for sewing and crafting inspiration, why not subscribe to my channel? Also, I would appreciate it if you press the like button and or leave a comment down below as that helps with the YouTube algorithm and the visibility of the channel. Thank you and see you next time. Goodbye!